but let me tell you that the first subject that we have to clearly deal with is the fight against anti-Semitism. History has shown it. The awakening of anti-Semitism is a symptom of a crisis of the Republic, a crisis of democracy. This is why we must give a very strong answer. After Halimi in 2006, after the Toulouse crimes, anti-Semitic acts are on the rise in France. And this is inadmissible. There are words that are spoken, there are insults, there are obscene gestures, uh, ignoble attacks, ignominious attacks, as in Crete a few weeks ago, as I was saying here uh, at the time, and yet they did not give rise to the indignation that our Jewish compatriots felt the country should have so shown. And so there is this tremendous restlessness, this tremendous apprehension that we have all sensed and we have all felt on Saturday in those multitudes uh, in front of the kosher hypermarket or at the Victoire synagogue on Sunday evening. How is it possible to accept that France, which is the land of emancipation of the Jews many centuries ago, but which also 70 years ago was one of the lands of the martyrdom of Jews, how can it be accepted that we hear on our streets death to the Jews? How can we accept the acts that I have just recalled? How can can one accept that French people be murdered simply because they are Jewish? How can we accept that our fellow Frenchmen or women of Tunisian extraction and his parents had sent him to France in order to be protected and he is going to the hypermarket to buy bread for the Shabbat? Should we accept that he be killed because he's Jewish? This is inadmissible. And a national community perhaps did not react strongly enough in the past. But now, I tell our, uh, the Jews of France that this is unacceptable. We must rebel. We must look at the situation clearly. There is the so-called historical anti-Semitism going back hundreds of years, but there is particularly that new form of anti-Semitism born in our neighborhoods, out of the Internet, out of hatred, hatred of the State of Israel, and which advocates hatred against the Jews, all Jews. So we need to use the right words to fight this type of totally unacceptable anti-Semitism. And as I have said over and over, again. And as the Minister Ségolène Royal said this morning in Jerusalem, as Claude Lanzmann wrote in a magnificent paper in Le Monde, yes, we must say to the world, without the Jews of France, France would no longer be France. And that message is one that we all have to deliver strongly and loudly. We did not say it in the past. We did not show our indignation in the past. How can we accept that in some schools, in some colleges, the Shoah cannot be taught? How can it be possible that a seven-year-old child should tell his teacher when the teacher asks them, what is his enemy? that the child should answer, it is the Jews. When you attack the Jews of France, you're attacking France and you're attacking universal conscience. Let us never forget this. And what a horrible coincidence that we see a multiple offender of hatred who is taking center stage and performing at the very time these atrocities are being committed, part of the Vincennes. No, justice must be intransigent, faced with those preachers of hatred. I'm saying this strongly and with determination from this lectern in the National Assembly. 